Today is practice day here in Mont St. Anne, meaning as far as the track and bike setups are concerned, there's a lot to figure out. How, like a bike. how different is it from from last week? Did you just go back to your day setting and? Uh, not so different. <laughs> More air, but less compression, and it was like. <laughs> no, it was unrideable. It was just a. It was so, unrideable. You didn't yeah. make it down the hill. You had to get off and walk. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. No, no. Okay. So, I'll see you on the next round. Then. Yeah. It was the first one where, especially it was the first one, so it was slow and it was already too, way too yeah. soft. And, which way? I think the ground is way harder it, and it, everything goes faster. Yeah, that's though, true. It is. Um, well, but it's, not, it's pretty good. How long you think still? Five minutes? Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see after time training, I guess. It's hard to say because I'm still a bit, you know, in the new section, you, you don't know where you're going, you're like... Yeah. Mm. Okay. Figure it out. Yeah, the grass is not super... Uh, uh, this the rock dry. slab at the end of the trip. Because you have to put, like traverse them, yeah. and then you like... Mm. Are they still, they're still wet, yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> me next. Hi. Um, I feel like there's like probably five corners on the hill that the fork feels like it's just diving, okay. losing body position. Okay. Um, I think it could be compression, but take a look. It's the same. It's a little bit faster from what it was, or a little bit uh, stiffer compression from what it was in snowshoe. Right. I think we're two clicks cool. up. We're exactly the same as Andorra. Same as Three Andorra. volume spaces, 71. Three. Yeah. And then we did we did just put one PSI in to see if it would but then we've come here so let's just add a spacer. Yeah? yeah. Okay. This rebound feels fine, compression feels okay. Yeah. No, it's like it's good. It's, there's like there's just a couple corners there. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, I'll do double check. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> There it is. Coming from Snowshoe, which was pretty flat, he's just saying the front end is riding kind of low in a few of the turns. So we're just gonna add a volume spacer to keep that ride height up a little higher. Because all his other stuff is pretty good. So I think, I think that'll do it. That way was not happy because he always closed all the compression. So now I have one hair spacer more, five, and then how to spring. We'll see. Like Sounds like a lot, but. <laughs> and now you're gonna do a run like that. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'll let you know. <laughs> Bike feels really nervous. Like it's not sticking nice to the ground. It's just like okay, pinball and me. Doesn't matter what I'm riding. It's just going left, right, left, right. Okay. We did the same setup. What we started in um, <clears throat> in snowshoe. Okay. I feel like... Feels quick. It's really quick, yeah. How many laps have you done? Just one. Okay. But it's a, it's a pretty good wake-up call. Really? For the first run, yeah. Nice. It was like going steady, but the bike was just going 
Oh man. So yeah, we have to try something because that was loose. Yeah. <laughs> still pretty soggy up there. Um, some bits are actually alright, some bits are still greasy. So I think if more people ride it now and it stays dry, then uh, I think for time session the track would be perfect, I think. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Please, no more rain. <laughs> no kidding. Was everything off or? Pretty open, yeah. They should be in 5 and 8 again. Okay. Thank you. Try that. Thank you. Let me know. Yeah. Which one? Slowed rear rebound down a bunch. I don't know if it was really that fast at Snowshoe, but it was definitely too fast here. So it could be just a miscommunication, but it was super fast, so the rear end rides really high, puts a bunch of pressure on your hands, and you can't steer. So it feels a little bit hard and a little bit slow. Okay. Yeah. But I was following Ryan, so <laughs> wasn't going normal first run. How does like basic attitude feel? Not so bad, not so bad. Pretty close. But we've gone harder in the fork from last week. Yeah. yeah. Good. So let's open it up one and see how that gets it. Sweet. Yeah, let's give that a try. But maybe cool. if it's slow, it's feeling a little bit rough as well. Yeah, so. cool. Thank you. All right, see you, Wind. Cheers. Wind switched to an air shock, so we're just kind of starting from scratch. Um, on a new track too, so we don't know. Yeah, that's first run really. Just trying to get a baseline for him. I think I got more feedback into my hands now. Like they felt more fatigued towards the end, okay. but it's definitely more controlled. Okay. What pressure and volume are you running right now? 95. And five volume spaces. Okay. Maybe it's just me getting used to the track. I'm still a little stiff. But it's actually the first time this year that I've got like trouble with my hands. Okay. Like I haven't had any problems the other races. Let's just try that, see if it gets you a little bit better and then right. we'll work from there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. I'll see let you know. Next. Thank you. I guess, just overall, how's the day for you? It sucked. Really? Yeah, Camille broke her collarbone. No! So that sucks when people get hurt. Sounds like the track's pretty rough, long. Mixed speeds, fast and slow, so I think it'll be tricky to set up. Uh, today, we had rain off and on, so it, and first day of practice. Um, didn't see a ton. Didn't see Greg at all. He seems happy. Or I saw him, but he's stoked. Um, haven't seen Benoit. We got a little bit of work to do on Thibaut's shock in a minute. Or as soon as he's done with time training. What else we got? A lot of stanchions. A lot of crashing. Did you make any consistent adjustments with people? Uh, it seems like forks are going harder again. And we've slowed rebounds down a bit, so that goes hand in hand. It's not incredibly steep, but it's really fast and it's long. I don't know what times are yet. Service is still a little spotty, but uh, Cam was betting on five minutes, which is pretty long. So, yeah. What else? Ah, it's you. I mean the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, the problem come again. Okay. I didn't have any problem in snowshoe, but they are like the last tier. I don't know in English. Last really part of the track is really faster and feel again. The okay. I think we just need to check through the settings because yeah. Last time when I checked in Andorra. Yeah, we didn't change a lot. I changed it. it from what I was told it was to what I put in it was different. Yeah. So we we'll okay. just double check the setting. I come with uh, Yannick? Sure. Okay, I yeah, come yeah. back. Easy. Because in Andorra, mm -hmm. I didn't have the problem, I think. No. Well, you said you didn't, no. and then Snowshoe, no. 
But there I feel like, again, like puncture at the back. Okay. Okay. Cool. I come back. Sounds good. In a few minutes. Thank you. Ah. And he's back. We <laughs> oh, Let me grab my like, little tool. Like the shocks now. <laughs> <laughs> How are the practice runs? Pretty good. Track is so long. I did, I think, three runs. Normally, I did four or five. And one time training. But it's cool. New part is a bit like tight, but it's not too bad to ride it. I enjoy. Are you going to do another run? Yeah, not full run, but I will ride again. But yeah. if you change the, the click, it will change my feeling at the top. Shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, it it worked in Andorra, right? Yeah, it, it worked, worked in, in Andorra. Snowshoe. Yeah. So it's obviously not. It's not the oil like we were talking about before. Yeah, I, I don't know what it. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure either. But just like at the top, I feel I'm in the good range, mm -hmm. and just the last part of the track is feel like okay. really not predictable. Push me a little bit. Give that a try. Okay. Let's see? Okay. I think if this feels okay, but we're almost closed on high speed rebound, we add in a slightly slightly more rebound. Okay. I will try like this. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I think there we are good. Right? Yeah. I will try like this. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. And let me know right away, huh? Yeah. And okay. Do you have a pet turtle? Mont Saint Anne certainly lived up to its reputation today. I just heard so many people talking about how rough and physical this track is, and I saw more flats than I can even count today. So things are definitely gnarly out there, and. <laughs> The crazy thing is it's gonna be even faster tomorrow when we have qualifiers, so we'll see you then. Do we have any bag updates? Oh, yeah! <laughs> my big duffel bag with like all my personal stuff is now at Fox Asheville. Yes! Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but it's there. God. My bike, is now in Memphis, which is about 300 miles from Fox Asheville, but <laughs> it's a lot closer than Toronto for the last two and a half weeks, three weeks, whatever. So I'd call that progress. I mean, the bag's progress. I've already replaced all that stuff, but whatever. <laughs> but it's still just the bike that I want. There's gonna be a garage sale in front of the Asheville sure. office. <laughs> There might, yeah, there might be one at the next Enduro in Burke. So if anybody needs some clothing, shoes, if my bike shows up, I might sell a bike. Never know.